How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing great. I am doing wonderful. Just got up, went and had me some great breakfast. Still staying away from breads and rices and all that good stuff. Um, actually, I had uh, eggs and ham. Sam, I am. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm just getting ready to go. Yesterday, I had some, uh, as you guys saw the other day, I had some light problems and uh, got it fixed, got it taken care of. But I've been having uh, that same particular light keeps popping off so it actually got to the point where it popped off completely and I'm gonna show you what I had to do because I was coming up on a scale and uh, yeah there was no truck stops in the way um, had to do a little bit of jerry rigging uh, don't laugh at me you ready to laugh don't laugh at me it's not that funny well it's a little funny uh, yeah that's it right there. <laughs> what can I say? I mean, that's, that's all I had. The, the whole light and the grommet fell completely off the truck or the trailer. So, um, yeah, luckily I always keep spare, um, spare lights and uh, tape. Tape is uh, truck driver's best friend. At least I think so. So, uh, just taped it up and we're good to go so sometimes you got to do what you got to do I know that's not pretty but if DOT stops me that light is on and it works so um, I guess because of the connection was so loose on the other one so old uh, cool every lights every lights good we're checked checked out good um, anyways I was saying um, every um, I guess it was just so old that it just kept popping off, popping off. Because actually, when I put this new one on, there was a, a lot of resistance. So it clicked on real good. But the grommet was gone. So I had to uh, go ahead and uh, and put those on. And put the tape on. So, so uh, we're able to get one. Um, man, people. These masks are everywhere. Just throw them in the trash. Well, all this trash shouldn't be gloves. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we got to make a mess everywhere we go. I know, no. But anyways, without further ado, guys, I'm going to hit the road. Um, oh, yeah. Another one. Another thing is we're dead headed home again. That's the other thing. Uh, it's getting difficult. The decisions might be uh, having to be made here pretty soon. I don't want to. It's one thing that I've never, uh, well, I used to do it when I was a lot younger, but here lately, past uh, 15 years of my life, um, I, I don't want to be jumping, going from one place to another. Um, but it's just kind of getting to the point where it's getting a little difficult for me, uh, a lot difficult for me. But I think uh, we can contribute it to what, everything that's going on as far as uh, the virus and all this stuff. So. It might just be that I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try to hang in there as long as I can but um, you know you have to do sometimes you have to make that decision where you have to do something and uh, I don't want to make that decision not you know I was I'm, I'm, you know I was good but at the end of the day I got to feed the family and I uh, got to keep the bills paid and stuff like that so uh, <laughs> stay optimistic stay focused okay it's hard to do that right now but you know you know what i mean but yeah guys uh i'm gonna go ahead and uh put her in a wind we are already in virginia yeah we were already in we're already in virginia and uh we're gonna keep on pushing through i did tell my dispatcher though that if because we have several terminals along the way if there was a load along the way that needed to go to houston uh Hit me up and I, you know, I'll take care of that with no problem. But, um, yeah, I'm ready to go home. The good thing is, there's always a good thing to everything that's bad. I'll be home for Father's Day for my dad. That is the good thing. And I'll be um, home for, uh, from with my son and uh, the, the, the three generations right there. That's, that is the good part. And I think that right there just dwarfs all the bad things that are going on. Um, yeah. 
I'm, I mean, I will say this over and over again. God does everything for a reason. Why? Sometimes we don't know. And you might think that it's for a bad, you know, but it's not. I don't, you know, at the end of the day, I don't think it's not. It's a, it's, it's a bad thing. I think I'm uh, going home to be with my dad. So, sorry to get on mushy with you guys again, but, you know, you know what's going on. For those of you that have been, been here for a while, y'all know what's up. But, uh, anyways, let's hit this road. People are turning around, coming back this way. Oh, the struggle has been real today. Accident after accident after, well, well no. Traffic jam after traffic jam. Uh, earlier it was a construction thing. We don't know what's going on up here. Uh, I had the radio on for a little bit and it was a little bit of mixture. It was, some people said accident, some people said um, construction. And then, uh, you know, all the other crazy stuff started coming out. So I just turned it down. I don't need no negativity in my life. I'm trying to stay positive, optimistic. <laughs> Especially with driving almost 2,000 miles, making zero money, paying for it, actually. So comes another one. Comes another one. There was a few of them. Getting brave, they start following each other. Heck, in a car. Cool. Uh, hope I don't see a truck going that way. I'm not gonna film it though, because I ain't gonna, I ain't trying to get anybody fired. But, <laughs> but we're pretty much at a dead stop, guys. We're rolling a little bit, but yeah, that is the situation right now. Oh man. And uh, running low on time. Well, I got four hours still yet. So I think we're gonna, we're okay with time, but for a little while, but still I need every second I can, I can, I need to run every second I can run because uh, it was exactly a little over 1200 miles um, from where I started this morning. So I needed to uh, be able to do at least six, six and six and something each day. So, and, you know, I need to get them miles in today and uh, tomorrow so I can get be there for uh, Father's Day. And uh, at this rate, oh man. And it's crazy because it's never like this. Like, every time I've... <sighs> I'm not even going to say nothing. <laughs> calm down, George, calm down. It's going to be okay. Yeah, well, you know, frustration, frustration. But uh, let's see how long we're we, we're stuck in this thing. It's uh, five fifty-four Eastern time right now. So I'll check in with you guys a little bit later once we get rolling to see how long I was actually in this. I've already been in it for like twenty minutes, so. seemed like a concrete mixer uh, went off into the trees hopefully that driver's okay but the cab looked very very destroyed of course the uh, what do you call it the drum or whatever came off of the truck as well so yeah pretty bad accident but hopefully that driver's that driver is fine we yeah, had two hours, two hours of sitting there. And uh, we gotta go, we gotta get it now. 
All right, let's go, guys.